Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Smart cars allow for communications that enable a broad range of transportation. Panelists at SAE's 2023 World Congress say in order to succeed, they need a different infrastructure, and industries need to work together to bring the reality of connected vehicles to shape. But first, what is a smart car? A smart car is something that we already see today. A smart car is something that has a capacity of tools and sensors and digital information that allows it to just simply be better. Be better driving, be better in its safety, be better in the experience that it imparts for people as they are on the road. Amy Ford says the primary purpose of a connected vehicle is designed to do a couple things. Share data back and forth, have a better driving experience, and increase safety on our roadways. Over the last several years, thousands have died on the roads. But Ford says smart cars can be critical for saving people's lives. And I think that you're starting to see all of the pieces on the board come together in a way with an emphasis and also a passion to say, this is the right thing that we need to do. We need to focus this now. It will save lives. Smart cars can talk to each other and they do so digitally. Ford says that digital exchange is almost like a digital seatbelt that allows us increased information and capacity to make the right movements on the road, make the right decisions as drivers, and ultimately infuse the automated driving systems with more intelligence to operate better. You know, we've been seeing smart cars on our roads for a long time, and the reality is now that we have the opportunity to bring those smart cars into an entire smart ecosystem, and it's imperative that we do that. But there are other barriers to overcome to reach this ecosystem. Regulatory landscape, customer confusion, and a lack of technology. But Ford says we must move forward with infrastructure. Well, I think the most exciting thing that we see right now is the fact that there is a coming together and a, a strike point where the, where the public sector, the regulatory sector, the auto manufacturers and others are saying, now is the time. Thanks so much, Amy, for taking the time to speak with us. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at Autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.